didn't print another page. All right. So we need to add Jerry Knock for a tray. Jerry Knock, K N O X. N O N O C K. K N. -O nope, just N O C K. Hi guys. Jerry. For a tray. Okay. Yes. She has just one. On this page. Yeah, that page. Where was it? It was on the stove. Well, I don't know. You know, things happen to a girl when she, when things like that. Dog? Yeah, I, know. I know. Leave me alone. I love you, honey. I'm live right now. Huh? I'm live. Are you? Yes. Well, I think you need a kiss then, right? I do need a smooch. Thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, Miss Vicky. Hi, Smiley. Hi, Nikita. I totally ran over my dog. Why are you telling people? You that? just told them. <laughs> so yes, I did. I totally ran him over. It was he, an accident. He normally Wait, waits Maria. for me to go out of my out of my room because I went back into the room to do the the list thing, and I was coming out, and he didn't wait. He's blind and deaf. He's old, and anyway, he didn't wait. I didn't know he didn't wait, and I totally th th just flip ran screen, over my dog. Flip your screen, huh? He's alive. But I feel terrible. <laughs> I feel terrible because he's all about the size of a shoe. <laughs> and I'm all about the size of a walrus. I just totally ran him over. Oh, poor baby. Hi, Vanessa. Say hi to baby. I think he's going to be all right, though. Hi, Vanessa. But he is so old and so little, I worry. Because I totally just ran him over. And I feel bad. There's nothing I can do about it. And then Jamie Moore for a tray. I was about to invoice her and Sherry Payton. <laughs> I can't think straight. It better be my hubby if he's smooching on me or else my hubby's going to be real mad, huh, Miss Denise? <laughs> she said, is that your hubby? <laughs> it better be. The birthday party, it was wonderful. Wonderful. I know. Thank you, guys. And Glenna Williams for one. All right. Oh, my goodness. Poor baby. He's, like, all this big. And I, like, totally just, like, boop, speed bump. And squished him in between the door and everything. Poor little guy. <sighs> Thank you, Julie. He, he'll be yeah, all right. He's not crying. He's just laying there watching. That's okay, Trevor. I almost answered and said, Trevor, you're live. What do you got to tell the people? But I didn't because I thought, he's probably dialing by mistake. Is he crying? No, he did when I ran him over. He was like, <laughs> but then he then he kind of like limped and wobbled off. And I was like, Cindy, get him. Cindy picked him up and he dropped the turd. And I was like, ah, oh, he pooped. <laughs> but then he put him down. He's walking okay. So I think he's all right. I think he's got like a little limp, but I think he's all right. I think no. I just scared the poop out Linda of him. Linda doesn't need shipping again. Oh, so I need to. Yeah. Let me go to her thing. Got it, Glenna. We got it, Glenna. Let me take that. <clears throat> All right. I just sent it. You're good. All right. Oh. Debbie Smith, where am I on the list? Number 14. You're, You're number next. 14. You'll we got Stephanie up. Milligan and then Deborah Smith. Tanya Peterson, Jerry Nock, Jamie Moore, and then Glenda Williams. I added more to the page, so, um, Glenda, I just sent you a new invoice, babe. Um, I added more, so there's not very many left, but you guys can go grab the ones that are, are still there. There's probably just a, um, just a couple left probably over there. All right, I need a pair of gloves, please. Oh, and somebody wanted to see this adventure Bible. Is the person who wanted to see it on? Because I will um I will show what it looks like. Ready for round two. Hey, Miss Issa. Welcome back to the party, girlfriend. Uh, will you move that fan just a hair? It's blowing my She's here. It makes you feel so bad. Thank you, Miss Stephanie, she said, for me to pick when I'm ready. Alright. 
So it makes you feel so bad when you run over one of your oh, well, pets or kids. Me. YouTube channel is Pearls with Carrie and Walton Care Bear. Those are both me. Anybody else is not me. But if it says Pearls with Carrie and it says this is a real Pearls with Carrie in the description, that's me. Yeah, and he's he's ancient and old. This one is a um I'm just opening it up for you. This one is good for all ages, teens and whatnot. It's like a comic book, this one is. He's not even limping. He's not even limping now. He's fine. He's fine. But it's got it's got it's kind of like reading the Bible in comic book form. Literally. The action Bible is. Yes, we do have a purchase drive. So if you have somebody that likes um likes comic books, I mean it's like see? Like this right here. Watch how fun this can be. See this guy right here? He's like, You want the truth? All these prophets are liars, and the Arameans will certainly kill you. May I go now? And then the other guy says, Take him away. Lock him up. You'll get out of prison when I return safely. So, it's like really dramatic. It's like, <laughs> Mr. Jenny's like, it says all that. <laughs> She's looking at me like this. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so it's like a comic book version of the Bible. And, um, but I mean, the whole Bible's here. It's just put into, it's like the comic book. I mean, like you go into like revelations and stuff, you know, it gets kind of hairy. Um, you know, but it's like a comic book. But it's a Bible. It starts at Genesis and, you know, the great flood. And it's all, all like a, Maybe yeah. Maybe I should look at that before I get to Bond for a birthday. Oh, <laughs> Bond will love it. Uh, okay. Mr. G's like, um, maybe I should have looked at that. I didn't realize it was like a comic book. But yeah, it is. But the whole Bible's there. This one is twenty-seven ninety-nine. $27.99. The other Bible, okay, um, they want to see, Do is mine still out here, the one that I have already opened? I love that one. This is my creative Bible. I, I better look at this one. And it's got Bible journal, and you can color in it, and you can, like, spend time with the Lord coloring in it. Just, it's a, uh, art is a form of worship, too, so sometimes you can um, do your artwork and stuff inside it. It's got room for you to make notes. Um, every, every, like, couple pages, there's, like, a scripture that pops out at you that you can also color and spend time with, like, for God did send me before you to preserve life, Genesis 45, 5, and you can color it and, like, just meditate on his word, spend some time with him, um, oh. you know, like this one. Uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. St. Luke 4.18. And you can just color it and spend time. Um, Jenda wants that Bible in your hand right now. She wants that action Bible. It's pinned. It's pin post. She said, I want that action Bible. Tell Ma. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and there's lots of, like, lots of good little things, and you can write in it or you can color in it. This one has, um, I will pour out my spirit upon the all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And, um... You know, you can color that. Just spend some time meditating on it. Um, she said, I didn't pin it. How do, you, how do I unpin it? <laughs> Issa, Issa pinned it so I would see it, Miss Jenda. It's gone now. <laughs> She's like, wait. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's my creative Bible. This one's on the website also for $39.99. All righty. I'll buy it for you. <laughs> she said, all righty. She's going to bring it to you. Um... <laughs> um and so, yeah, so those are those two Bibles. All right, so Miss Stephanie McMillan is going to be next. Of course, we got to do our wake-up song. Yeah. The one that I was just holding was $39.99. I love it. Let me just... Oh, it's a rootin' tootin' time! We just got started, and it's a rootin' tootin' time! Oh, my goodness. I literally...
literally just got here. <laughs> Wake up, you sleepy heads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Wake up, you sleepy heads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Don't need no crispy tater tots. You know what makes that body rock? Wake up, you sleepy heads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Wake up, you sleepy heads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Wake up. My goodness. Ah, oh, rootin' tootin' time, and we just got here. Yep, last all. That's right. Last all it up. Tell them about your drawing tonight. My drawing tonight. They want to see what they're drawing. We it's for these beautiful the drawing. freshwater button pearl starfish earrings. Let me put it on the lens so you can see a little bit better. You like my zoo video? Oh my goodness. It was crazy. Well, if I can get it to get... Let me try this side, maybe. Here we go. Oh, Glenna needs another hot pink for her mom's cancer survivor. Two times now. Awesome. I don't know why it's not picking up. Here we go. There we go. It just was not... That's right, Lisa. A great show. That's right. It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So, Miss Stephanie Milligan. Stephanie Milligan, and she said, pick when I'm ready. I'm just about ready. Uh, Hang on one second. I'll be ready. Um, all right. So, we need Valerie Bel uh, Belize. Wait, wait, wait. Valerie, V-A-L-E-R-I-E, -E, Belize, B-E-L-I-S. Okay. She has one. Okay. It's paid. Okay. Then we have Debbie Swanger. Okay. She has one. And I'm invoicing her right now, so we'll have to check her okay. when she gets okay. done. We're going to have another one here in just a second. I'm just getting her invoice sent over there to her real quick. All right. Yes, the Bibles are on the website, Julie. Yep, they are on the website. Opening and shipping. Send. Yes, Bibles can be purchased at www.pearlswithcarry.com. Go to shop, scroll down to Bibles, and you can purchase it right there. I'm waiting on this invoice to send, and I'll go to the next one. Okay, so that was Debbie Swanger. Uh -huh. This is not an opening. That's a longer chain. And this one is an opening, but let me let me just check if it's okay. Live opening. Julia Freeman. She has one and a guitar, and it's paid. All right. So here we go. Are you ready, Miss Stephanie? Are you still with me? I know I'm a little long-winded sometimes. I go to talk in and... Is a creative Bible a large print? Um, it doesn't specifically say large print on it, but I think it's pretty, um... Yeah. It's pretty good. Print. I'll show it to you. You can decide. I don't think it's considered large print, though. No, it's not. I don't think it's considered large print. Can they see that good? I don't know if you can tell how, what size that is. If you can see my I'm fingers. Saying, hey, hi, Carrie. Is hi. it a flat rate $39.99 for the Bible? No, there's also $4 shipping on it. $4 shipping. But there's no uh, no tax because that's all included in the cost. Um, Kelly Steele made her first purchase from you, the Memorial Day special in a shucker. I think I just shipped that actually mm -hmm. while we were while we were getting our list of stuff we were trying to make sure everybody got on so we were shipping while we were waiting so some of y'all who were ordering during the break were actually getting mm -hmm. shipping notices while we were while we were working on shipping okay all right so I think one that's one. it and this is Miss Stephanie and she says to go ahead and pick one so I will pick one for her Ooh. what do you think you think it looks good
do you get the mag lens? Are you talking about my lens? You can buy it anywhere. Best Buy, Walmart, um, Amazon, eBay. I think I've bought one from just about everywhere trying to find the best one. I know. And honestly, I like the one that Walmart sells, but they have three that they sell, and I don't know which one it is that I like. I like the one that's in the green and white package. Um, right now, we have 21 on the list. We are on number 13. Miss Stephanie, she says it's good. Oh, Trevor. That was back when I could still walk. And I wasn't quite as fluffy. No twins. Bree's saying, are you going to be here tomorrow? Me? No. Do they even have a bingo on tomorrow? Oh, they do? Not six, not six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half rose valued at $60. Oh, you make me happy too, Miss Lisa. It's a light, light, light rose. Barbara, you can watch that video right on my um, on my personal YouTube. It's Walton Care Bear. And if you go down, you'll see the, the video from when I met my mom. We had news crews there. It was on the news. Right. It was a pretty big ordeal. It was pretty awesome. Yep. Some of y'all don't know, I was adopted at birth and then readopted and readopted. And so I have, um, I grew up in foster care and I have three moms and five dads. And uh, what did we say? We counted them the other day. 28 siblings? Yes. 28 siblings. Quite so. a few. The Father's Day tray is five oysters and one revolver pendant for $80. And then we also have our um, our Memorial Day sale going on now through Monday for buy three, get two free, open at homes. Um, and they're, they're already in the, um, you have to go to the Memorial Day thing, click one, and it'll charge you $60. So $60 for that open at home tray. All right. Oh, my stars. It's a rootin' tootin' time of pearls of carry. Hey, I just can't stop. <laughs> Miss Deborah Smith. Miss Deborah Smith. No more food for you. I know, Miss Virginia. It's her fault she fed me. No more food for you. Big, fluffy, and hairy for Deborah. Big, fluffy, and hairy. Well, that one is big, fluffy, and hairy, and it's a shaker. Okay. Oh. That sounds like more than one in there. It might not be, but it sounds like it. Big, fluffy, and hairy. I know. It does sound like it, though. I know. What are the chances of opening a third set of twins though tonight? It can happen. It doesn't usually, but it can happen. Can this one's big and hairy, and it's fluffy, but it's got red in it. This one's got some fl some hair to it. It's ugly. Big and fluffy. Oh, please tell me this one's got fur. It does. It's got fur. Seagrass. I slept till 10 o'clock today. The red ticket. We will, we will, um, you will get a red ticket. We will draw that on our Father's Day party, which is the 17th. And somebody's going to win that big box. It is chock full of good stuff for Dad. And the box is cool, too. Never seen it. YouTube, it's Walton Care Bear and Pearls with Carry. I have two of them. I have a business page that we just set up. It's actually a brand page. Um, and we'll be doing live videos from there. Not just these kind of live videos, but we'll be doing little Bible Bible things on there also um, for Pearls with Carry. Um, and then my personal YouTube is Walton Care Bear. You're absolutely welcome to go check that out if you want to. Um, go for it, she says. These are all really big, Miss Deborah. <laughs> Hi, Benjamin. Go for it, Carrie. Julie Freeman, do you see what number she is? 21, I think, is her 21, number. 21, and we're on number 14. No twins. Got a big mama coming up next. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half dark, valued at $86. Hi, Tanya. Yes. 
Big Mama next, Carrie. It looks like this is the next person you're going to add. Okay. Yep, she has one. Okay. And she is paid. Kimberly Gonzalez, you are number 22. You'd love to see my personal testimony on... I might talk about it a little bit. Nothing on that side. I have. I don't um, give my full testimony like ever. But, um, but I do give bits and pieces. That is a Oompa Loompa Doopity awesome. Doo. I've got a blueberry pearl for you. Yay, blueberry! That is a seven and a half blueberry valued at $76. No, it's not, Trevor. It is only pearls with Carrie. And it has our, um, it has our logo on it. Not our plate of things. It has our actual logo. And it says, um, in the description of the channel, Trevor, it'll say this is the real Pearls with Carrie. There are people impersonating Pearls with Carrie on YouTube, um, which is why we decided to go ahead and get our, get a YouTube. This so you guys would know where to find us. It actually says Pearls with Carrie. And if you go and scroll down our page, there's a link to it, Trevor. It'll take you right to our actual page. Nothing on that this side. This is Deborah's first time opening with you. Oh, that's so exciting, Miss Deborah. Thank you so much, girlfriend. This is a beautiful peach. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That is a seven and a half peach. Valued at $60. Don't mind the oyster got on the side. I will wash it off in one second. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't have... Well, I sh I sh it's been up for a couple hours, so it might have a lot of viewers, uh, subscribers. But I was going to say, it shouldn't have too many yet, because I just created it today. And there's one video on the channel on Pearls with Carrie, and that is my zoo adventure. That's the only one that's up on that page right this minute, so it should be easy to find. Miss Carrie, do I have to pre-purchase my pearls for the show in Atlanta? Um, no, you can order them right there on the spot if you need to, Miss Heather. Nothing on that side. No twins, but you do need to purchase your tickets because there's only limited seating or limited space. Um, so make sure you purchase your tickets for the event. It's $10 now until I think June 1st and then they go up. I don't know what they go up to, but um, because they have um, the makeup artists for MTV and some other things there at this event um, that will be speaking and, and doing little things. Um, Pearl's Esther will be there, different things. Make sure that you... Um, purchase your tickets to the women's event so that you can make sure that you get in there. So this is a 7.5 dark valued at $86. Yeah, definitely make sure you get your tickets though because um, there's some really cool people that are even cooler than me that are going to be there. <laughs> Not that I'm that cool. I was just saying, I was just tooting my own home for a second that are even cooler than me. But anyway, there are some really cool people that are going to be there. Some blessed women. They're going to be, um, and a man too. There's a man that did the, um, I don't know what all he did, but, but there's several different, there's I'll several make a note different guest speakers that are going to be there that are, to, for Carrie to sign it. that are pretty well known or that have worked with some pretty well known people. Nothing on that side. So make sure you, um, get your tickets so you can make sure you get your foot in the door so you can come see me and get your pearls. That's right. Grand wow. And take it to the top. Ooh, take it to the floor. Ooh, roll in, roll in, roll in. Cranberry. Hey. Wow. She got a blueberry at Cranberry. Yeah. I am super blessed to be able to be part of that event because there are some pretty super amazing people that are going to be there. So to, to be able to be part of that is Gorgeous. Um, I'm pretty excited about. What size is that? That is an eight cranberry. Wow, man. That is ninety-two dollars. Yes. It's on June twenty-fourth, Miss Sonia, and it's in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. And we'll be there along with several guest speakers and people who do all kinds of things. Um, will be there. Pearls of Esther is who's um, behind it and putting it on and um, and they've just got some really cool people. Um, some people have worked on TV sets with different people and, yeah. and done their makeup and their hair. Miss Trevor, I wish he was close by because he would I love know. something like that. It's right up his alley. 
Um, because, ah. Uh, so pretty. It's really cool. It is going to be very motivational and inspiring. I cannot wait um, to be blessed by the words and, and, and the things that these people are bringing to the table. I'm super excited and blessed to be able to be part of it because um, cause I'm just a little old me. Some of these she people are the amazing. She my hand so you can see the green and the purples in them. The yes. She puts it on the tray and shows it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Miss Tanya Peterson. Oh, it's Big, Big Mama. Mama. Yep, let me back up. Time for a big mama. Who wants a big mama? I need close pin. I need prayer right now. It's so bad. Father God, we lift up Miss uh, <laughs> Moniqua. And we just ask that you meet whatever needs she has right now, Lord. That no weapon formed against her will prosper. That she will plant her feet firmly even when the enemy comes to strike, Lord. That she would be drawn closer to you. And that she'd be able to withstand in the storm. That she would be like a tree with its roots driven down into the dirt, holding on so that nothing can blow her down. That even though she feels her leaves are ruffling and a wimbling and she thinks she's going to be blown over, that no weapon, no wind, no storm, no nothing that comes up against her shall prosper because you are with her in your strength, holding her where she's at, firmly planted, and that she'll get through this. And when it all passes, Lord, that you will um, let her know that it was truly you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think we need to add someone else to the list. Katie Garcia. Yes, we do. We need to get um, a big mama though i don't well wait a minute don't put her down yet i need to see if she's she paid via paypal have you confirmed that mm. okay then i need i need to um, you can't reach those no i can't reach them i'd have to yeah pull them out i just need one of them let me um let me refresh the screen and see who all we've got there you go honey bone who was our last person that we had on That's that the last one that i added was um Kimberly, Kimberly Gonzalez. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have a Crystal Holko. Crystal Holko. And I need to send her an invoice right now. She has a carriage also. She has oh, one in a carriage. Crystal H U L. K O W. K O W. And she has a carriage. Yes. And, and, and one. She has one. Yes. Is that is paid? not a good sign. Is she paid? No. I'm invoicing her right now. Okay. All right, so Crystal Holko, mm -hmm. copy and paste, and opening. I'm scared of this one. <laughs> and a carriage, yes. and shipping, mm -hmm. and send. Guys, it's not a good sign when there's this much air. This is not a bubble package. <laughs> this is the package. I have a feeling this is... <coughs> Ms. Carol McMillions wants to gift it to Wanda. She has a yellow pearl in hers. Keep that pen right there, Miss uh, Issa, because Miss Virginia is going to have to... She's working on something else right now. Give her just a minute. And I'll get it out. Then... Carolyn Witt. Who is it? Carol Millen? Yeah. Well, she's doing that. I'm getting this invoice sent out to this next person. Y'all sit tight with me. We're fixing to do a big mama. I'm not opening it out of this bubble wrap until I want to smell it. <laughs> okay, and what is it that she wants to do? Take the yellow to... pearl out of there. Okay, and who's she giving it to? She's giving it to Miss Wanda. Is it Wanda Middleton? Because I can put it in Wanda Middleton's bag. Is it Wanda Middleton? Oh, right here it is. So that's all Carol had. That's all Carol had. So she wants to give it to uh, Wanda Mir Middleton. Father God, we lift up Jessica's son. I didn't see what the need was, Lord, but we just ask that you'd be with him right now. Whatever's going on, Lord, that you would be with him and help him through whatever it is, whether it's healing, finances, um, any, what, yes, Wanda Middleton, whatever it is. That you would just be with him right now, Lord, and that you would meet whatever need it is. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. But you go ahead and send her her red ticket. Yeah, go ahead and mail her her okay. red ticket, yes. And I will put that All right, in one. then we have Beverly Dutcher. Hold on, I can only do one thing at a time. I know. 
Big Mama. This is not good. Just so you know, this is a very bad sign. Very bad. <laughs> I'm very scared of this package right now. <laughs> I'm very scared. I can play the drums on this. I cannot get this open. Oh, I busted the package. Guess you will not be opening it, for I am sure you do not ever want that bad smell. Oh, you know what, Kathy? You make a good point, but no, I'm going to man up here in a minute and open this bad boy. <laughs> I'm just scared. What I should do, because I know this one's probably going to be nasty because of all the, all the, I mean, this, this thing practically just about ready to pop on its own. I, I should send this to one of y'all people who ordered, open it <laughs> and let y'all thin over this one. We find one that's not so bad, but you know, that's, it would backfire on me. <laughs> and I'd probably, this probably be smelling like roses and I'll probably, no, they're not refrigerated, darn it. Nope. Who was it that gifted that to Wanda? Miss Carol something. Carrie, cancel my order. My card has been frozen. Too many purchases today. Debbie Swanger? You, 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 no, no, no. She's not on here, I don't think. Oh, she is? Hold on, I gotta find out who that one is. Okay, Miss Debbie. Let me go down and fix yours. That was Carol. And cancel order. So that means we just had one more open up, guys. Debbie Swanger. Oh. And cancel. Okay. Cancel. Alright. Back to all orders. Where was I at? Okay, so we need to add Beverly Dutcher. Hi, guys. I know it's kind of hard to wait for me, but just bear with me, guys. I'm just waiting on Miss Virginia, and then she'll, we'll get, oh, wait, I can do this part. Hang on. I'm waiting on Miss Virginia for something I don't need to wait on her for. I can do this myself. Okay. 24, Beverly. Beverly Dutcher. <laughs> yeah, Vix under the Dutcher. nose. Dutcher, she has one. Okay. Let me go backwards. Is this Bruce Smith? Is he one? Or is he? That's a cup. Hang on, guys. We're sorting through them, guys. We're getting ready to get going. On the big mama. Yep, we're getting ready to do it. I just got to get the rest of the people that are on the list onto the list. That's why usually we don't have add-ons because you This is exactly that. why I don't usually do add-ons. I don't think you guys mind waiting tonight, but if this was an every night thing, I think you guys would probably be like, no carry. <laughs> no carry. I think you guys show me grace when it's like a, just a, we're adding to it for the night. But I think if we did this every night, you guys would get fed up. <laughs> Ann said, Miss V, run outside and let the air out of the package. Yeah, this, I know. This hey, is Carrie. going to be bad. Hey! Hey, April. Hey, Carrie. Hey, April. Wonderful, Trevor. All right, so that was I got the spray room. ready. All right, so here. Katie Garcia has one. And she's paid. That steakhouse at the zoo, it, uh, yeah, that, that was not at the zoo. That was, uh, Jack Stack. Y'all, if y'all haven't been to a Jack Stack, you should go. It's $40 for the plate, but, um, it was amazing food. Beverly is number 24. Y'all, there's a funny story behind that. Okay, did you get her written down? Katie Garcia, yes. Okay, now we have, uh, let me click on make sure that's what it is. Nope, she's, that's open at home. Okay. Trey, hang on. Let me just refresh this, make sure we got everybody. Okay, looks like we're up to date. Awesome. Um, so this, y'all, I've never ate there before. I had no idea, and I'm not a fancy person, so I don't go to fancy places very often. Yes, Katie, so, I'll make a note. 
So the, I'm a simple person. So the guy comes out and he's a waiter. He was ex he was perfect waiter. Anyway, he comes out and he's like, and can I interest anybody in some appetizers? And well, I saw mushrooms, fried mushrooms. Y'all y'all know you get mushrooms. They're in a basket. They're like this big. You can pop them in your mouth or yeah. bite them in half. Make it two bites if you want to. But that's how big a mushroom is, right? So so y'all, he's like, would you like one? Would you like three, six, or nine? I said, three? Who eats three mushrooms? I was like, bring on nine. So he brings out, he brings out eight on skewers. Guys, nine. I, there was eight on them, four and four, remember? Oh, yeah. And uh, But I ordered, or there was ten. There was ten yeah. of them, not nine. There was ten of them. This big and this thick. Like, yes. I'm not kidding. Mushrooms, guys, I, I about fell out. I was like, oh my, then they come by, and they have these onion rings, I kid you not, two oh foot gosh. tall stacks of onion rings, onion rings this big around, Stacked. stacked in a triangle all the way up the, th I said, oh my stars, it was amazing, I was like, oh my, God. and then they brought out this rib thing, one bone rib, oh was my. like this big, and like, the meat just fell right off, I said, what is this, <laughs> I was like, this is this is crazy. I did not expect this at all. I was like, oh my goodness, no wonder it's forty dollars for a plate of rib because one bone was like this this much. That was like twenty five dollars for that. But if you got two bones, you got two of those. Like I'm talking, the Flintstones couldn't even eat that much. I know. I was like, oh my stars. Yeah, Valerie. Valerie wants to add three. I'm scared. I'm gonna cut this and it's gonna pop like a balloon. If I jump and scream, y'all. If she adds three, that's four. If she gets the fifth one free. Yeah, that's what she wants to do. Okay, Valerie, I'll put a tray. We have to make sure she's in voice, Carrie. Well, invoice her for three more and she gets a tray. I need to invoice her for three more? Yep, she wants three yeah, more, she said. Where is the... She paid with PayPal. Uh, Miss Valerie, are you going to order three more through PayPal? Is that what you're going to do? Or do you want me to invoice you through Square? It was crazy, but it was amazing food. What is she saying? Sorry, just one. I don't know, Carrie. I don't know. Do you want one or... Sorry, just one. Valerie Beals just wants one. One more or... How many do you want? Tom? Wants to add just one. Okay, so that would be... So do you two. want an invoice for one? Or do you want to just order through PayPal and get one? I made it through that part, but guys, I'm not kidding. Look, the second round is the same wow. way. Wow. I'm so scared. I just wanted to add one. Okay, Valerie. I got you down for two. It's so tight, I can't even get past the bubble wrap without... Oh. Look. Look, oh my it's a gosh, balloon. The bubble wrap is... It's a balloon. Too. Oh, and when I can smell it through this. <laughs> oh, I can smell it bad through this. Get ready to plug your nose, Miss Virginia. It's going to be bad. I can't hold my breath. Oh, it's so pretty, though. Oh, God. Holy jeepers. <sighs> Look at how pretty that is, though. It's not too, too bad. Mm. It's a little bad. <laughs> It's a lot of bad. Yeah, it has that soup. You expect to see Look how pretty that shell is, though. Oh, my stars. Yep, it's going to be a stink uh, bomb. I knew I was in trouble when she handed I that one to PayPal, me. I tried PayPal, but it won't add the one, so if you can invoice me, I'll pay now. Okay. Oh. Do I invoice before or after I torture myself? Okay. Create invoice. I'm hurrying, because this would y'all... Y'all, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Valerie, Belize. Look at you with your nose in the mix. Cheater. <laughs> Mr. Jenny's sucking on mix and leaving me to stranded. <laughs> oh, she's sharing, guys. <sighs> going in at I'm going in right here that okay. looks like a nice big oh. that shell <laughs> is pretty stinky oh. 
Oh, these big mamas. I don't know why. Oh, it's so rotted, I add like little effort. It's already. Ew. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's got more things in it than I think I've ever. Oh. <laughs> Actually, on my YouTube channel, I think I'm going to do it. Maybe like a little Bible study or something. <sighs> Run into the bucket. Oh, my gosh. But these have... Make sure you get that in trash. <laughs> Ooh, no way. It's more fun throwing it in your direction. <laughs> Remember, you got to sign that shell. Do I? Yep. It's not too, 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 too bad. I mean, it's bad, but... But, I, I mean, it rotted itself. Okay, so it's got two big pearls on this side. <laughs> and nine on this side. And then we got the stink pocket. Let me back up a minute. Just a hair. Well, don't touch your thing with your hands. I can't help it. Your gloves. I can't help That's it. gross. I, what, oh. what am I to do? I don't know. I, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I need somebody. It's gross, Trevor. It's gross. Wow. She'll uh, be doing another one in a few months. <laughs> oh, no, get off me. <laughs> Your pearl attacked me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh. <laughs> what's inside that stink pocket? It looks like poop. What's inside yes, that stink it does. pocket? It's brown. Nobody should ever look inside that it stink looks pocket. Like it's the oyster's organs. Like rotted organs. It probably is the oyster's rotted organs inside there. That's right. A lot of stink. Ugh. You're hearing that last one. You ain't kidding. Like, oh. And I welcome it because it smells so bad. Oh, it's so slimy. I need a face mask. Everybody always tells me that. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't get a bag ready for him. Good. 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 Nothing more in that slimy sack. No, I know, Karen. Nothing in that sack. Oh. <laughs> what you jumping for? <laughs> guts over here. She's looking at me like I did. Oh. It smells like rotten something. Oh. <laughs> oh. My mercy. Wow. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Those are about the size of the ones on this bracelet. Almost. They're a little bit smaller, but they're they're pretty good size. Woo! <sighs> that video of you meeting your mom is so sweet. Oh, thank you, Miss Andrea. We should start charging for entertainment. I'm telling you. Oh, oh my goodness. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. That's disgusting. <laughs> Eighteen, nineteen. <laughs> 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Oh, my stars. Like, that and is horrible. Like big ones. <laughs> and sign that shell. 
Oh, nasty flappy sack. Oh. <laughs> Good night, Carrie. Look at those. Oh. Oh, oh cow. <laughs> As if it didn't stick in nothing in this place. <laughs> And then we have our business YouTube, which we will be doing live videos from uh, for um, for various things separate from what we do here on Facebook. So make sure you guys go subscribe to Pearls with Carrie. My Pearls with Carrie page, it says the real Pearls with Carrie. Right now there's only one video on it, and it is a zoo video. So um, make sure you go subscribe over there. I need a baggie, please. Oh, my. you heard that one? Are you tooting? I did! I totally toot. <laughs> it's the only place you can shuck pearls, fart, and pray all in one spot. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. Oh, I, need <laughs> <laughs> I need a dry towel, please. Why am I yelling? <laughs> Miss Virginia. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Thank you, Trevor. Root toot. Time. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, did I did. just hear a backfire? You sure did. <laughs> oh, you sure did. I, I root and tootened it Thanks real good life. Time. We have a good time every day. <laughs> Miss Mary Beth said, have a good night, ladies. I'm out of here. Shell. Oh, Miss Miss Mary Beth Fog, I'm out of here, ladies. You guys, you guys, it's I'm starting to get out. crazy in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you. Yes, I yep, She you. said, I'm up out of here now. <laughs> That's right. Don't pay rent. You kick it out. <laughs> Apparently, it didn't pay its rent. I'll like 20 of them tonight. Didn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I reach forward, guys. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. Yep, every time she reaches forward. <clears throat> Oh, my stars. All right. Yeah, it does surprise even me. <laughs> well, I can't really hold them in. I don't really have the ability to hold them in. So when they come out, it's like, you might as well just party with it. <laughs> <laughs> The party has arrived. That's right. It's a root and tooth party. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my stars. Can you pin the second YouTube channel? Uh, we can. It's posted right on our page. Um, which one are you wanting? The Pearls with Carrie or the um, Walton Care Bear? We need our own reality show. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. They have put us on late night with all this tooting going on. <laughs> they would. <laughs> it's PG. Oh my stars. We're ready for Jerry Knock. Jerry Knock, where you at? She has an open at home tray special. This can ship with label to get to. We have the we printed her we we shipped her during break. Um Jerry Knock. She has an open at home tray special. Okay, then. Um, Jerry Knock. We're going to put your pearls in with your you with you. your other order. The pearls we carry. Um, Issa, will you uh, pin that, that uh, pearls we carry page? The one I meet my mom is Walton Care Bear. All together, not no spaces, nothing. Walton, W A L T O N, Care Bear, C A R E B E B E A R. I can show that video probably while I'm waiting on Jerry. Let me see. Let's see if I can find it. Where's my? I don't have a big tablet right this second. Let me. 
That's Pearls of Carry. Where's my Walton Care Bear? Walton Care Bear. I can play it. You guys can see it. I was... Oh. Let me go to my channel. There's that baby mama dance. Oh, there's that. Hey, y'all. This is kind of funny. I know. Y'all aren't going to know what to do with me. But... Oh, there it is, there it is. Here you go. This is my meeting my birth mom. Here you go, guys. Gary, Gary I'm coming right back to you. That pressure washer makes a real nice background noise, doesn't it? That is my birth mom right there that you're watching. At this point, she was three months pregnant with my baby sister who just turned 14. She said, randoms? All right. She's waiting for you. She just yeah, she was waiting for me. I had no idea what I was driving or what I looked like or anything, guys. Which one was in the chair? I wasn't in a chair then. Oh, you weren't? I was able-bodied then. Oh. It's doing good, Joe. Hi. You look like your mama. Yep, I can walk back then. Cool. Hi. Here comes Brianna, guys. Wait till you see Bri. Should be the one with the piggy tail. Ayla wasn't born yet. There's Jason. There goes piggy tails. That's Brianna, guys. And the news crew guys. And then from there she just you can watch the rest of it on YouTube or whatever, but she just puts me on the phone with my aunt for the first time and it was it was special um because i was adopted at birth so it was special I, it was the first time ever meeting her it was pretty pretty yes. special all right so jerry said random and they wanted a tray sorry to make you wait jerry all right so here we go random tray for miss jerry that takes you to one of the newspaper articles from when I was adopted. If you want to grab that and post it on the page, um, they can read a little bit of my, my story from when the, the newspapers covered of that <clears throat> video. You want to bring back that tray with stickers? You want your moo cow back? <laughs> well, I will have to. I think I might do it one day a week. Yes, have they that are good. Tray back. All right, they here we good, go. Then. They are good. They are good. This is for Jerry. Nothing on that side. No twins. Oh, my the feels. <laughs> not a six, not a six 
and a half, not a seven, not a seven and a half. That is an eight dark, valued at $92. Hey, Michelle. I was in an accident, Jane, on October 21st, 2008. I was hit head on by a semi-size RV. Yep. And I have brain and spinal cord injuries and end-stage hereditary chronic pancreatitis and sphincter of ODI dysfunction. Yep. My mouth is moving but no sound. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. Nothing on that side. What in the world? Oh, I can feel no twins. What are you doing? Oopa, doo. I've got a blueberry pearl for you. Blueberry. Thank you, Sonia. We are on number, what number are we on? We, uh, number 16. Number 16. This is a seven and a half blueberry valued at $76. Brianna twice. Both times she got pulled over and both times they took the car away. Father God, we lift her up and we just ask that you would help her out with getting the car that she needs and that um, what's taken from her will be um, given back to her, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, nothing on that side. No twins. Yeah, I'll sing the wake up song at the end of the video. We're almost we're almost there. We're on um we're on sixteen and we've only gone twenty five, it looks like. Right. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half dark. Valued at eighty six dollars. Well, it looks like another order came in, so we might have more than twenty five. Because I don't know how many we still have on the site. Next one. Nothing on that side. No twins. Your heart raises when I yell blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half peach valued at $60. Not died. She's having a baby. Oh, congratulations. Oh, you've had to bring her to the hospital two times already. Well, Father God, we just ask that you would um, help her out along with this pregnancy and that everything goes smoothly and she'd have a healthy delivery and um, a healthy baby. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hi, Lisa. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. Not a seven and a half. That is an eight light peach valued at $70. Wow. $70. Isn't that pretty? Look at that tree. That is gorgeous. By the way, we lift up Miss Susan and we just ask for a complete and total healing that her Crohn's disease would um, be still, that it would even be gone, that it should be healed um, either by miracle or by medicine um, right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to know if you was with Sydney when you met your mom. Yeah. Yep, Sydney was there. Um, I don't know if you heard, but in the video, I think at one point she says, Hi, Sydney, or something like that. Yep. Yeah, I've been with Sydney since uh, since before Jason was born, and then um, Jason and Bree came along, and um, and I was pregnant with Brianna when Sydney and I we had a breakup and we got back together. So he's been in, he's been there their whole lives, Jason and Brianna's whole lives, and um, <laughs> yeah. 
Kelly said, who all sings along with Miss Carrie when she sings her songs, LOL? I do. <laughs> oh, Jamie Moore. We got newbies. Hi, newbies. You've turned into Pearl. You've tuned into Pearls of Carrie. I'm Carrie, and we're opening oysters for pearls. They're $20 each, or you can buy four, get one free for a total of five for $80. To order simply, that's right. To order simply, click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to my website, www.pearlswithcarrie.com. Com. We're ready for Jamie Moore. Is she? Jamie Moore is, I think so. Jamie Moore. She has a tray. Would you like that short, skinny, light, um, shark bitten, barnacly, or just randoms? What are you thinking, girl? By the God, we lift up Lori, and we just ask that you would settle those blood sugars so you'd make them be normal. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I do, I do. <laughs> No, he hasn't, Miss Rosemary. He is so stubborn. <laughs> Random, she says. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Lillian. Father God, we just asked... Lift up Miss Lillian, and we just ask that you would um, heal her and deliver her from depression and anxiety right now, Lord, right where she sits, that she would do better with it from here on out. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, do they look good? If they look good, we'll open them up. Love you too, Lori. Love you too. Oh, Father God, we lift up. Um, Lori's brother, and we just ask that you would give him a complete and total healing in his body right now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I know, we're going to have to tag team him. He's so stubborn. Looks good, Miss Jamie says. Dang. Here we go. Oh, you are my sunshine, wow. my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Never know, dear. I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hey, not I a six, you. not a six and a half, not a seven. That is a seven and a half sunshiny day. Oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> Valued. <laughs> oh, Miss Virginia Valued. <laughs> Valued at eighty. <laughs> Arlene is, is Sydney Brianna's real dad. Yeah, he's as real of a dad as she'll ever have. Um, if you mean biologically, um, no, he is not her biological dad. She does have um, a biological father um, who she only met recently um, in the last few years. But um, but Sydney is her real dad. He was there when she was born. He raised her. He set up with her when she was sick. He went to the hospital with her. He changed That's all right. the diapers. When when she's gotten trouble as a teen, he's the one that chased her down and and went after her and sat with her and cried with her and prayed with her and prayed over her and put up with me crying over her. So by all intents and purposes, um, he's the real dad. But yes, there is somebody else who is a biological contributor. Yes, Jason and Brianna both have um, the same dad, and it that that's biologically made them. Um, and it's not Sydney, but Sydney is their real dad by all intents and purposes. My s <laughs> not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half peach valued at $60. Well, you know, I mean, it's um, it, it's true. I mean, anybody can lay down and make a baby, but um, when when you know the person who loves them and cares for them and and takes care of them and and nurtures them and raises them up and trains them up to be who they're meant to be in this world, that's the um, that's the dad. You guys who stepped up. I mean, their mom went in a wheelchair when they were eight and nine, and he'd been in their life since they were babies, and he said, "I'm still staying. I'm here. You know, I'm your dad. That's it." Um, you know, when they when they said, you're not my dad, he said, okay, that's fine. I'll still be your dad when you get done with that. You know, I mean, that's a dad. That's a dad. Um, you know, 
Proof's in the pudding. You want to know who your dad is? Look around you and find out. That That's who your dad is. So, nothing on that side. No twins. I told Jason and Bree that I, when they found out about their biological dad, we didn't tell them right away. There were some things they didn't need to know um, about him. Um, but once they found out they had a different dad, I said, I hope you found a better man than I left behind. Um, and, and unfortunately, sadly, they didn't. But, you know, we still pray for him. We lift him up. Um, both my kids want to know him more, and um, they care about him. And so, um, and so hopefully one day um, the Lord will take hold of him and he'll become the man that I prayed that he would be when they find him. Um, again, you know, one day I hope God does a work in him. But in the meantime, they have a dad here that loves them dearly. And um, hopefully one day they'll actually have two dads. All right, so that's a, a 7.5 dark, valued at $86. Miss Gina, but she deleted the video. I didn't get to see it. I don't know what all was said, but <laughs> but yeah, she deleted the video where I couldn't see it, but I know she called me and she said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she said, now everybody knows that I'm a jerk. I said, no, everybody doesn't know you're a jerk. <laughs> I said, you're okay. She was just feeling emotional and stuff, mm -hmm. but she went back and I guess deleted the video, but, but yeah, I guess she had a, a moment on camera the other night about it. That is a, um, 7.5 dark valued at $86. Did she? I wish I could have seen it, but yeah, she called me. I was driving. I was on my way to, uh, Missouri when she called. What's the night I was on my way there or on my way back? I don't know. When she called me and she was, she was, she was a little bit distraught about it. She apologized and, you know, it's all good. You know, all families, some people look at you and they think, I think that sometimes people think that, um, because I'm a Christian, my whole family is, or they think because. She said she loves her mom and dad, Sydney. Yeah. Because because I'm a Christian that we have this perfect family, but you know we've we've had real problems like any other family. You know That's we've right. we've Everyone had the does. runaways situation. We've had at least one of our children that um, did drugs for a while. We've yep. had teenage pregnancies. We've had um, boo boos. You know, Brie fell out of a tree on her face when she <laughs> when she was like six, following Jason up a tree. He's a monkey. She is not. <laughs> she is not coordinated. You know, she fell in. And black both her eyes. We thought she broke her nose. So thank, praise the Lord. You know, she didn't. But, oh, you know, I mean, we, we've had real struggles as a family just like anybody else. Um, that is 7.5 dark valued at $86. But one thing that is, is the same and it, it'll never change in a million years is that no matter what we go through as a family, no matter how much hurt, no matter how much whatever, um, that you go through as a family that's my family and yours for the most part uh, you guys watching is that you will always love your children you'll always love your parents you'll always love your family it doesn't matter how much hurt you go through even those of you who might be watching and saying well, that's true for your family and their family but I hate my I'm telling you it wouldn't hurt so bad and you wouldn't feel the need to be sitting there thinking that right now if you didn't still love them. The love is there. It's just God's got to restore it and heal it. And sometimes he's the only one who can. In the situation with Brianna and I and Sydney and Brianna and I and the whole nine yards, only God could fix that. There were moments when I literally, when she came back from Florida, where I literally, I'm going to set this down for a second. I know you want to see her. I'm going to show you pearls and Miss Virginia can. Um, she came back. Those are gorgeous, by the way. Uh, she came back, and I was so hurt and torn up inside that I would I would think when I see her, I'm going to say something sweet, and something bitter would come out of my face. I literally 
had to cry out to the Lord and say, please hold my tongue. Please hold my tongue. Please, please help me to be kind. Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And my heart was hurting so bad. I mean, like my soul was sucked out. It hurt so bad. And so when I would see her, all that hurt would come out. And it was terrible. So she would come and she would expect a nice visit. And here I was. I would, I would just say something, you know, it'd be something stupid. Um, and so, um, there was hurt there. And as soon as I started being nice, um, she, she lashed out at me. We had, a, we had, a, we had a lot going on. Um, but it was because we were both hurt and we were so hurt. And the Lord came in and, and he said, I can see you guys can't do this on your own. And so he stepped in and he changed my heart and he changed her heart. And because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Part of our testimony today is for both of us is that we love each other. We can communicate nicely to each other. Um, he's healed a lot there. It's still a work in progress, but there's a lot that's been healed up there. And so... Um, We're ready for Glenn Williams. And so, yeah, it, it was it was it was a lot, but you know, God is bigger than the boogeyman, yes, amen. Yes. All right, so Glenna Williams, Miss Glenna Williams, not that I meant to get off on that, but Miss Glenna Williams, <coughs> Glenna Williams, peanut butter and jelly, it is. That's right. Go eat it. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you have to, Steffi, sometimes you literally just have to take your hands off and say, Okay, God, I give you my child. And um and I just I, I can't. And 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 in his strength and his might and his wisdom and understanding and timing, he will make everything right. But sometimes you literally just have to stop getting in the way of God. Sometimes you gotta just shut up and hands off and let God move in your family. And that's what I had to do. Um, and it was hard because <laughs> I'm a hands on person. Um, Glenna Williams. You can put it in an egg or a paw print. Um, most of our, mo an elephant. Um, that's right. God is bigger than the boogeyman. I have, uh, eight cranberries in my elephant. Yep. She's asking what can on. we put an 8.5 pearl in. Just about most of our, most of our things. I wouldn't say the flying butterfly or the ribbon. Um, cause those would really tap out at about eight. But you can put it in just about anything else that we have. Small and hairy, she said. Will you look and see if you have any small and hairies over there? I don't have very many small ones left in here. I got a couple. I sure can. I got a couple, but I don't think I got too many small and hairy. Yeah, I need three small, three small and hairy. <laughs> she says, come on. Oh, wait, she only needs one. Never mind. Small and hairy. I got it. All right. Small and hairy. Hairy up at the top. And it's got lots of barnacle dudes on it. Does it look okay? If it looks good. We'll open it up. Oh, I'm so sorry, Miss Renee. The hummingbird, the hummingbird will hold an 8.5. Shuck it and please have my hot pink. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> please be a hot pink. <laughs> oh, I'm really hoping it's a hot. Have you ever, like, held your breath and been like, oh, please, please, please be a hot pink for somebody? Okay, so it's not a hot pink. <laughs> no. No twins. But <laughs> it is a sunshine. Awesome. You are my sunshine. Sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine, sunshine away. Hey, that is a 7.5 sunshiny day, valued at $86. I was so hoping for a pink, but hey, yellow is awesome too because these sunshines rock. I am adopted, Miss Rebecca. I've been adopted three times. Here we go. Thank you, Miss Pamela. All right, I'm looking for Valerie Belise. 
And what is her order? Because it looks like it's scratched out. Two. It is two. Two, two, two. two. Miss Valerie. <clears throat> you were adopted also? That's awesome. Praise the Lord, Miss Renee. Miss awesome. Renee, I can relate to that on more levels than you ever could imagine. Valerie says you pick. And praise the Lord. All right, she has two. Mm. I put two cross on that because I put them both in here. Got it? Yep. Here we go. And here we go. That's right. Superman was adopted too. Please, blueberry and hot pink. So I guess that's good for her then. <laughs> She's like, yeah, please. All right, I'm hoping for you, girl. All right, no twins. First one is a very, very light. It's like a very light sunshine. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. I feel the need to sing it softly because it's so light. When skies are gray, <laughs> never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Hey! <laughs> oh, 7.5 sunshine valued at $86. It is very pale, very light. Right. What brought me and Cindy together? Pizza and roses. <laughs> Literally, I worked for a pizza place as the manager. He came in for a job. I hired him. It it was not working out. <laughs> it was, it was summer in Florida, out. and his dad would call up and say, Guys, tell Sydney it's time for him to come home now. In the middle of the ship, it's time for him to come home now. It's too hot out there for him to be in that sun working, delivering pizzas. Tell him, come on home now. So I had to fire him. So, I so, love this story. so I fired him and he sent me a dozen roses and asked me out. I said, what? I said, nobody ever bought me a dozen roses before I said, and this fool, I fired him and he sent me flowers. What's he about? Yeah. So, of course, you know, I had to go out with him. So I went out with him and um, he was super skinny because he used to be super fat. Yes, Sydney was super fat and he was super skinny. And so we would go, we'd go somewhere and he'd spend money on me, but I wouldn't hold his hand or anything because he was so skinny. I thought he had AIDS. Now don't get, no, don't get, don't get the wrong impression. If you are watching, you have AIDS. I do not have a problem holding your hand. But I was, I was afraid that it would lead to more because you know we were, we were, we were going out and getting to know each other like that. So I said, I said I'm not even going to hold your hand. And he didn't understand what was going on with it. So anyway, if somebody had told me he was going to be my husband, then I would have laughed at him. But um, anyway, long story short, we broke up. We got back together. And guess what? He's the one. <laughs> not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half light pink valued at $60. You adopted four sisters in 2011. That's awesome, Miss Pam. Yeah, um... I, I, my last adopted family, they adopted, um, four fosters other than me. They adopted, um, two brothers and two sisters that were biological. Two sisters that were biological and two brothers that were, were not related to any of us, but related to each other. And then me, um, and then they had, um, they had their children. All right. So, Miss, uh, Julie... Good I can't Brenda. read it. Huh? <laughs> Miss Julia Freeman. Freeman. Julia Freeman. It does. It's got like a lavender pink color to it. How was I adopted so many times? Because I was in foster care, Miss Deanna. Um, I was adopted at birth, and then I um, she got divorced, and her husband adopted me, and then I was put in foster care, then I was adopted, then I was in foster care, and then I was adopted again. Unfortunately, not everybody who adopts children should adopt. 
or should be able to adopt but background screening only um oh shows so much and um and she unfortunately had a bad choice in um people who she you pick chose to be with but she was a um but but all of my moms were wonderful all, all three of my moms are amazing wonderful people um but one of them has made some poor choices and so you pick for how many one Here we go. Does this look good? Trevor, I think that'd be amazing. Um, I have a real heart for foster adoption. I want to I wanna foster adopt one day. Sydney does not share my heart in that. Um, and so um, we'll see where it goes. But I would love to adopt, foster adopt. And I want to adopt the older ones that are going to age out in the system that nobody wants. The ones that are trouble. Those are the ones that I want. Um, but my husband, on the other hand, says I'm crazy. So... <laughs> So I pray that God changes his heart, or if not, that he'll right. take the desire from me. Because I do have a heart to foster adopt. All right, here we go. Woo, who's heart stopping? Cranberry! Take it to the top. Ooh, take it to the floor. Ooh, roll it, roll it, roll it. Cranberry, hey! Miss Misty said, you all can adopt me. We already did Miss Misty. No, not a seven. That's not an eight. That is an eight and a half. Cranberry valued at $106. Wow. Wow, wow. Can you believe that? I agree, Miss Issa. people don't have um, in that to be perfectly honest um, I was born to a 15 year old so my biological mom was 15 when she had me so I have that and then um, I was 15 when I got married the first time <gasps> oh nobody knew that <laughs> but no I was I was married um, I was married when I was 15 I, I uh, escaped foster care by getting married um, I got married in Mexico, as a matter of fact, um, by proxy. We hired somebody, and they literally went into Mexico and got married for us while we stayed two blocks away from the DHS, um, SRS, Children and Families Office, in a hotel. Um, and they mailed us our marriage license, and I marched to my social worker, and I said, I said, here you go, here's my marriage license. And she said, well, you're free to go. So, um... So there I was, free to go, and um, things were not peaches and cream. You know, I was sleeping behind dumpsters and everything else with my with my husband. But um, but I was free of the system. Nobody else could hurt me, and and I was free. Um, but anyway, um, so I was 15 when I got when I got married, um, and I was born to a 15 year old. So my daughter, um, getting pregnant at almost 15 and having a baby at 15. Um, I think it didn't affect me like it would affect most people, for one. Um, and for two, she was she had went down a very dark and very bad path at that time. And so just to hear her say that, she, that pregnancy was the best outcome in that situation that she was in, I honestly expected to get the call to find out that Brianna was dead in a ditch somewhere. So for her to call me and tell me I'm pregnant and coming home was music to my ears. So in all honesty, it was relief when I found out she was pregnant with Gus. Um, because I'll take a baby over losing my baby any day, Amen. And um, and and he, I knew I knew God, um, had to have a hand in it. Because even in our sin, even when we're sinning and we and and we do things that cause babies, because we know what causes babies. Um, no life, no life is created without Him. And so I really think that Gus, um, in an indirect or maybe even in a direct way, was an answer to this mama's prayers. And so, um, I think I just look at it different than some people. I think if, if 
I led a sheltered life. I think if I was born to 30 year olds who waited and went to college and did everything proper and right, and my family had an expectation of me and, and I expected that of my kids and whatnot, I think maybe I'd have a different outlook on things, but I can never relate to that because I didn't have that life. Um, I had a very different life. And um, my first child was born when I was 12. Um, we won't go into that, but, um, but so I, I and, and I wasn't married and it wasn't a willing situation. It wasn't anything. So, you know, I have a different, a different look on those things than, um, than the average person does. So honestly, um, I just praise God that, that she got pregnant at 15. Um, wasn't the life that I would have chose for her in that moment. Obviously, I would have rather her waited, got married and done things differently but honestly i god works things in mysterious ways and it's not for me to understand it says his ways are not our ways and um, i have to believe that that when somebody is really doing things in their lives um that um that could destroy them when the enemy is attacking hardcore and that you can watch them being devoured um and it's your child and they say i'm pregnant and i'm coming home it's a positive thing, not a negative thing for me. And so that's that. That's how I honestly and truly, she asked how I honestly and truly felt about it. That is honestly and truly where I stand and how, how I felt. And that's really, that's how it was. Um, okay, so. Kimberly Gonzalez. Kimberly Gonzalez. Where are you at, Miss Kimberly Gonzalez? Kimberly Gonzalez. Thank you so much. Kimberly Gonzalez, come on down. Where you at, girl? And what does she have? She has one or she three? Has one. 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 Praise the Lord, Miss Kristen. She said her baby just graduated and is going to college. Awesome. Miss Terry, he was born, passed away. He was born sleeping. I do not have a relationship with him because he's born sleeping, but he's buried not far from here. And I do go to the grave on occasion. Random. All right, girlfriend. Does it look good? If it does, we'll open it up. Thank you so much, Miss Lisa. It's okay, Miss Terry. If you order a big mama to get open, I can open it tonight, Miss Pam. If you want to, if you want to open it, if you want to order it right now, I can open it for you tonight. Cause I don't think I have any other big mamas. I, I can look and see, but I don't think I have any other big mamas or anything like that on the board. So I'm willing to open one more tonight. So if you wanted to order it, I'd be happy to open it for you tonight. Uh, does it look good? Praise the Lord, Miss Kimberly. All right, she's excited. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's right. That's right, Miss Missy. Some people have everything and they do things just wrong. It's okay. It happens. We all got a testimony to build. If you think that you're watching and you don't have a story to tell, you're mistaken because I promise you we all got a testimony in us. Miss Virginia and I talk about this all the time. Everybody's been through something. Everybody. Right. It, you may seem like small potatoes next to your neighbor, but it was big to you. It's big to somebody else who's walking in similar shoes. you got a story to tell, and it'll help somebody one day. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half light pink, valued at $60. Ooh, it's gorgeous. Oh, Miss Denise. Denise Amato, I'm going to have to get her. She just messaged me that she sent me more money for shipping because I shipped all her cups together. She's not. I'm sending that right back to her. <laughs> Bless her heart. I just love her so much. She ordered a ton of cups. She don't owe me anything Next else. My goodness. Is Crystal Hoko. Crystal Hoko? Hoko. Hoko. Crystal Hoko. 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 I don't know. Thank you so much, Miss Smiley. H U L K O W, Carrie. Okay. I'm so glad you came into my life too, Misty. I just love you, girl. 
Miss Crystal. Oh, thank you, Miss Glenna. Crystal Hoko, where you at, girl? I'm going to do the wake-up song here in just a little bit. about being able to open Big Mama at home. Oh, at home? I can send it open at home, too. If she wants to open it at home, it'll be shipped Tuesday. So she can order it for me to open it tonight, and I'll open it. I'll check it before I get off, off to make sure that it's not on there. And um, Or she can do it open at home, and I'll send it to her on Tuesday, and it'll be shipped out. She'd have her tracking probably tonight or tomorrow, but it'd actually physically leave here on Tuesday because the mailman's not Thank open. Thank you, Trevor. Miss V's a blessing, too. Miss V's a huge blessing. We love Miss V. Are we near Davis, Oklahoma? There's a tornado in Davis. No, we're not near Davis. But Father God, we lift up those that are in Davis, and we just ask that you be with them right now. Keep them safe, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, they're all saying Miss V's amazing. She oh, says it's good. You. It's good. Here we go, Crystal. Thank you so much, Anisha. Nothing on that side. Woo, doggy, no twins, but we got a grand. And take it to the top. Ooh, take it to the floor. Ooh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Cranberry, hey. Oh, I got too excited. Is, is, Davis is south of Glenna, and she's, Glenna, are you up around Oklahoma City or somewhere like that? I think so. Seven and a half cranberry value to eighty-six dollars. Thank you so much, Miss Andrea. Kate, Kate says it's in the middle of the night, and I'm still watching one. Bless you, Kate. Yay! We love you, Kate. Beautiful cranberry. Oh, thank you, Miss Rhonda. Next, we have. Beverly Dutcher. Beverly Dutcher. And how much? She has one. Sometimes, Miss Susan. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes they're all still awake until I get done partying, too, because they can't sleep in my big mouth sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how late it goes. But my family is unique in the sense, see, you guys have heard all that stuff that's all whatever, but one thing y'all might not realize is every night, every single person in my family, whether they live in my yes, house. Cassie, we sell jewelry. Whether they live in my house or they don't, Bree can attest to this, we all do not go to bed until we've said goodnight and I love you to each and every one of us. We just don't. It's something that we do. Bree gets on the phone with me after each show. I love you, goodnight. Jason, I love you, goodnight. Ayla, she's standing in her doorway. Mommy, I love you, goodnight. It just, and it's, it's just something that we do. Nobody's ever said to do it. It's just I made it a rule that I'll never go to sleep without telling people that I love them. And I'll never, I'll never be mad um, when I go to bed with them. It's got to be squashed and settled because I can't do it. I can't go to sleep knowing that, you know, t we're not promised tomorrow. And so um, I think all my kids and my husband just kind of pulled from that. And it's just a thing we do in our house and our family. And not just our house, our family. We just can't help ourselves. Beverly Dutcher. And she has just one. Yes. Beverly Dutcher. So even though I often will wake them up, um, usually they are they are up already waiting for me to <laughs> come in there so they can tell me good night. Thank you so much, Miss Kate. Beverly Dutcher, where are you at, babe? I hope that you'll be watching me. Ronnie, I'm going to hold you to that. We're going to be 120 shucking oysters together, watching and shucking. <laughs> By then, I'm probably going to need a new assistant because I don't know if Miss Virginia is going to live to be 150. That would make her 150, <laughs> but, but she might. So <laughs> I may have to get you as my, my 120-year-old <laughs> assistant because I don't know if she's going to make it that far because 150 is stretching it, guys. <laughs> but you know, God is able. So God is able. Beverly Dutch, small red with stripes, she says. I think you're going to have to find it. I don't think I have a small red with stripes over here. Here, look here. I don't. I don't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Uh -oh. Poor ticket. Oh, that's okay. You can just give her the next one on the list and throw that one away. Just make sure that it... It's reasonable. Yep. I am. Just make sure we have the other cops the other yeah. side and we're good. 
we got enough tickets there between yeah. that roll and the next that we could do that a few times over. <laughs> if we had to. Shake it. Ooh, that one's a shaker. Red with stripes. Small red stripes. Mm -hmm. That one's got some red on it and some stripes. Trey says, I'll be there with you. Miss Carrie, we're only a year apart. All right, I'm going to hold you to that, too. I'm going to hold you to it. Let's see which one of these has more red and stripes on it. What is that one doing out? That's not even red and stripes. This one's probably got the most darkest prominent red Misty stripes. Says, are you still dead? I want to buy um, look and see. I don't know if I am or not. You have to look and see because I don't know. See those red stripes? Big old barnacle. And even more red down here on this side. What do you think? Did I do good? If I did, let me know and we will, um, we will open them up. How you get started with this just lots of prayer lots of money and lots and lots and lots of research hi Emily it's your birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Miss Rhonda happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you, you. And, and many more, more. Cha -cha -cha. Where'd she go? Do they look good? Does it look good? Da 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 Aw, oh, thank you, Miss Rhonda. She says she loves her since she rap. Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Rhonda. I love you, too. I hope you have an awesome birthday. I don't know if I'm sold out for tonight or not. Let's see. Um, Kate Garcia was well, the last. Those Beverly Death Dutcher to okay these. One on that. Let me see. This I one, I think, is it. a tray. Maybe she's You were adopted at six days old. I was three days old when I was adopted. It was actually a birth. My, my, Doing good, Kelly. My first adopted mom was in the room when I was born, but... Um, I guess it's Sold like out a, for tonight, but you can purchase for Tuesday, Thursday, and I Saturday. think it's a formality or whatever that it's, at three days old they release you from the hospital and you could sign off on the papers or something. I think you had to have seventy two hours pass by, but basically I was born at birth. It's so Colleen out. Holland gets put on that list too. So she out. has one in a revolver. Good, she says. It's good. Mine is uh, June twenty seventh, and Miss Virginia is the 29th of June. So you know sign we're going to... Can I sign a different one? Yep. <laughs> I got some dry ones up there that I already from the last show. Um, not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half dark valued at $86. I just said basically I was born at birth. Ah! <laughs> Did I really just say that? I've been adopted at birth. Gary. Ah! <laughs> yeah, y'all. You know, I was basically born at birth. <laughs> I bet y'all didn't do that. <laughs> I was basically born at birth, y'all. Just so you guys know. I'm that cool. <laughs> Oh, my stars. I got to sign a show for her. Yes. Oh, my stars. I can't believe I said that. <laughs> oh. I meant adopted. I'm just full of um, wisdom tonight. You know, I, I, I had gloves that went on. They were made wrong, right, earlier tonight. Some of y'all saw that. Some of y'all didn't. <laughs> oh. But they weren't made wrong. I was just not right. <laughs> Having a day. It's one of those well, having days. Having a root tube time, Carrie. 
<laughs> yeah, we are. All right. <laughs> um, you were hatched at birth? Oh, my stars. See, she's cooler than I am. She hatched. Oh. I was just born at birth. She was hatched at birth. We are ready for Well, you her. weren't lying. Nope. That's one thing. I'll never lie to you. I was born at birth. I promise. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm looking for Kate Garcia. Just one. Oh, wait. Am I signing the shell for Kate or for... No. Yeah, you just signed it for Kate. For Kate. Okay. Yeah. All right. That glove thing was just... I can't believe I did that. And on camera. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, paint shells. Yeah, he sure does. A stork delivered you? Oh, well, see, now you're even cooler than both of us who hatched and birth and were born. <laughs> she said, here and random. All right, what do you think? You think it looks good? If it does, we will open it up. Your husband says I'm, I'm crazy in a funny way. Aw, oh, that's sweet. It's free um, for me to sign a shell. If you don't have an order existing, like if, if I'm not opening and it's not whatever, then you can just go on there and you just pay the shipping for it. Um, but if you have an order, when I open, you just tell me and I'll sign them for you. That's right. We're born again each day, Miss Angela. That's right. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Does it look good? Good, she said. It's good. It's good. My husband is doing good. He's doing good. He has his ups and downs, but for the most part, he's doing good. He's doing good enough that he isn't going back to the doctor to find out what's wrong with him. Just making me want to want to strangle his little self. Because <laughs> he needs to get it all worked out. But he's doing good. Not a six, not a six and a half, not a seven. That's a seven and a half light rose. There is a hair on my a hair on my sizer. Valued at sixty. Was that a seven and a half or an yeah, seven and a half. Seven and a half valued at sixty dollars. Yes. That's hilarious. Nicole Williams' daughter tells her brother he's made in China. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> made in China. Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. I bet he's just like, no, I'm not. I can just picture that. I can picture that conversation going down. Oh, my goodness. Miss Colleen Holland. Where you at, girl? Colleen Holland. There was a hair on my sizer. Hmm. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Josie. Happy birthday to you and many more. Cha-cha-cha. Hi, Barolita. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming and tuning in. Random, Miss Colleen says. She has just one. We have a random, nooey-gooey, drippy random. What do you think? Does it look good? If it does, we'll open it up. They come from the Cabbage Patch. Hey, now, I used to collect them Cabbage Patch dolls. They were cute. And then I went through my rebellious stage, and it was all Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> and now I love them all. <laughs> if it looks good. We will open it up. And she has a revolver with this one. This is Colleen, Miss Colleen. And I'm just double checking, make sure I don't have. Looks good, she says. Anybody else on this list? Oh, no. Woo! What is that? No twins. Your dad was a milkman. Oh. That is close enough that I'm going to call it. It's just, it's almost not that. I love you. You love me. We're as happy as can be with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh, it's a purple people eater. It's a dark, dark, dark purple people eater valued at 86 
dollars. Mm. Oh, Miss Rhonda said I love you too. So sweet. I know. I can't believe we're ending our night with a purple. I think. Unless we have a, we might have a Big Mama. Let me look. Because I know Miss Pam was talking about Big Mamas a minute ago. I think, I think I've seen where they said that it was going to be for a mom's birthday or something. Oh, okay. So it wasn't for tonight. Yeah, I didn't see though. Honey. All right. I, Are you stealing that without the pearl? No. Oh, you're doing the other person. I was like, um, because I got the pearl right here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. This one has nothing. I was going to say it has, has a, a revolver. Mm, mm, yes. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking leave about. Leave me alone. You just think, <laughs> you hear her? She said, leave me alone. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They're $20 each, or you can buy four, get one free for a total of five for $80. To order, simply click on the link in the description of the video. It'll take you to my website, www.pearlsandcarry.com. We are sold out for tonight's live party. In fact, we are at the end of that party. However, you can still do open at home, or you can purchase for live for Tuesday. And we can party hardy then and open it live for you. If you want open at homes, we have two specials going on right now. We have the Father's Day trays, which is $80, and you get a free revolver pendant for Dad. Or we have the Memorial Day sale now through Monday, which is buy three, get two free. It's already set up for you, so it's one whole tray, five oysters for $60. Simply click one, it'll charge you $60 for it. All right, guys. I do see your comments, Miss Cynthia. Was that a purple? Miss V, are you cranky tonight? That nope. was a purple. Yeah. I she said so. no. <laughs> she said nope. <laughs> well, when there's only one well. pearl, you have a lot of packaging. I yourself. know. It's okay. <laughs> oh, Ethel. And I was getting the jewelry. <laughs> yeah, and I was getting the jewelry ready. I know. It's the end already. What? Oh, and I rooted tootin'. Rootin' tootin'. All right. So, here we go. Let me wake you guys up before I put you to bed. No. We wake gotta up. do the drawing. Stop it. Oh, I gotta do a drawing. What am I thinking, y'all? We got a drawing know. to do. Oh my, oh my stars, oh my stars, you oh my stars. See, 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 I'm helping her. See, if Lucille didn't have <laughs> Ethel, she would have done lost her marbles. <laughs> oh my stars, I almost didn't do the drawing. What am I thinking? Oh, All right, let me no. scroll down and show you where we're at. Oh my stars, we're at a ways. I mean, you're... I need to wake up. I know they're telling me I'm, I need to wake up. They're like Carrie. Right here. From there up. Here's what we're drawing for tonight. <laughs> it is these these beautiful um, freshwater button pearl um, starfish. Let me push it to the front. There we go. Look at that. They're earrings. They are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Carrie popping off again. I know what's wrong with me. I'm not even in a hurry to get out of here. I'm excited to be here. Oh, so these gorgeous starfish earrings are going to somebody. They are beautiful. They um, come from our farm. So that I think they are, um, our farm, they, they um, send, sometimes they send me stuff when I order my big mamas. They'll send me like a little thank you gift or whatever. Sometimes it's a, a freshwater um, bracelet like Miss Miss V's wearing or it's these like little cute little earrings. I think these are going to be freshwater button pearls that they put on these. Occasionally they'll use a koyas, but these look like freshwater to me. Um, and so I think these are freshwater buttons. You're listening for another two. Well, stick around, sister, because it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for me to lean forward. It'll happen, I'm telling you. Miss V fed me hot dogs and nacho cheese. Lord help us all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was actually thinking about keeping these. I love these, but then I thought, I don't have pierced ears, so why am I holding on to them? I should give these away in a giveaway. I mean, because they're just sitting here waiting for a home. So I thought, this would be a great in and out giveaway. Beautiful little starfish earrings. That's right. Is it okay to see your necklace? Yeah, um, if you go to video one, Miss Misty, it's right on there. I opened it up and showed it. It's already in the jeweler's thingamabobber. Um, but it's not done yet. It's got to go to the jeweler yet. But the actual pendant came in that he's going to attach the pearl to. 
Miss V needs a cooking channel. Man, you're so serious. I know. I know. She needs a cooking channel, and I need an eating channel. She can cook it, and I will eat it. We need the we need the Lucy and Ethel um, cooking and eating channel. That's what we need. <laughs> can I get cage earrings? I can. And honestly, I could probably turn... Um, I can order them in cages, but honestly, it'd be easy to turn any of our cage pendants into necklaces. I can even tell you how to do it, or I can do it for you. But you can go to Walmart, go to the little jewelry section, get yourself some um, some little jumpers and some little, uh, you know, the, what are those called, wire earrings, what are they called? Anyway, and you just connect them, get you some jewelry pliers, you can connect it, and your pearl will be secure in there forever. But I can also buy them. I can buy them already made. Or I can make them. Or you could make them. Just order like two pendant necklaces and go to Walmart and you can make them yourself. It'd be really easy to do. Miss Virginia's writing, writing, or writing. Oh, Eva, you're welcome. I don't know what you're thinking before, but you're welcome, girl. You're welcome. Yes, this would be a great birthday gift, wouldn't it? <laughs> hooks. Hooks is what they're called. Oh, my stars, y'all. I don't know where my mind is tonight. That's right, the Miss V's cooking, the Cooking Whale Carrie Eat Show. <laughs> cooking Whale Carrie Eat Show. That's right, because she'd be cooking it and I'd be eating it, and then we'd have a Sydney Washes Dishes show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's that too. <laughs> yes. Toot toot. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Marcia. How are you, girl? Oh, my goodness. You knew what I meant? I never know what I mean. <laughs> Anybody who makes a purchase tonight gets put into the drawing. Anybody who does, if you hurry up, you might be able to get in there before she gets done writing. Your daughter's birthstone, they're gorgeous. These are really gorgeous. They are so cute. I love them. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Toot, toot. You doing fine? Catering for Pearls of Terry Live Gatherings. I know. I know. That's What's wrong with you? Why aren't you doing catering for Pearls of Terry Live Gatherings? <laughs> She's like, uh, yeah. This if I don't have enough to do when we go places and do live gatherings. You want me to cook and cater too? <laughs> She's going to choke me out, guys, here real soon. You guys are going to see the mean Miss V. No, I'm kidding. I don't think Miss V has a mean bone in her body. Maybe. But I don't think so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my I goodness. I get frustrated, Carrie, but that's it. Well, we all get frustrated. Me, on the other hand, let me get hungry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, no, I can get cranky. I think I've gotten cranky on here a couple times. I think Everybody you guys have seen it. Especially if my blood sugar's weird. Y'all watch that's out. Right. If my if I If I ever get like, well, just know I probably have blood sugar going on. Because I probably did not mean to be all, mm. <laughs> But if my blood sugar is weird, I get all, mm. And I don't even know I'm doing it. I don't even mean to. Miss V will say, Carrie, in Sydney, Carrie, check your blood sugar. <laughs> Carrie, do you need to eat something? Is that a polite way of saying I'm being mean? No. <laughs> smile, smile. Oh. It's a good day. Oh, yeah, let somebody mess with my kids, I get mean. Yeah, I do. I don't, I don't mean to, and I don't know how to, I try, even, even then I still try to be sweet, but at the same time, my mama bear is pretty strong. My kids are my world. I think all mamas are like that, Carrie. Yep. Yep, it's true. My kids, uh, my so, kids honey. are that line where I'll be like, look. That's right. <laughs> I think it's more firm than mean, though, because at that point, I'm just like, let's get firm with it. You need a Snickers? That's right, Carrie, you need a Snickers. Praise the Lord. Father God, we lift up Jason and his marriage, and we just ask that you would be with them and that you would um, help them through their marriage, that you would help them to um, be rekindled, to be restored, to be renewed, to um, to be healed in their marriage, that they would look at each other and see why they fell in love to begin with and, um, and be Aww. able to just live it out, Lord, for the rest of their days. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You read Brondas. What'd she say? Satterfield. I have a funny story. You made a beautiful black pearl necklace for me. My mom named... My mom's name's Pearl. 
I gave it to her for Mother's Day, and she cried because she thought I meant she had a black heart. Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> oh sweet mama. Oh. Miss Virginia's getting the last of them in there. There's a easier way to do that instead of cutting them out, number nope. them all, and ask Suri to pick a number between... I would do that, but then people would like, yes. people would like, um, tell me, they would say, oh, that's not fair, you didn't put everybody's number, or you didn't. That's it, right, we would make the fair way. And yeah. I do so they can all know that their names are there, because otherwise they say, oh, it's. I take all of them, I try all to the purchases do, off the computer and write them down. Yeah, I try to do it to where they can all see it as best as I can. Beverly, li Beverly likes to eat it, especially if she don't have to cook it. The 13th, Andrea, 10th, 10th through 13th, somewhere in there. 13th. We're supposed to be getting storms. They're probably headed our way. I'll check the map. Yeah, we don't have any yet, but they say we're supposed to get some weather. We'll probably get them in the middle of the night. And I'll probably be asleep and saying... So, you know, once I go to sleep, if the storms roll over and I think there might be a tornado, I'll open my ear and I'll be like, I got some headed our way. I'll be like, is that a tornado? And I'll be like, I don't care. I'm going back to sleep. We got some headed our way. Oh, I should make it home in time before it gets here. Yep, the sirens get on, boy, and like my kids don't know what's going on. I'm like, helmets! <laughs> <laughs> Running through the house. Ding, 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 ding. Now I got a cowbell. Lord help them. If those sirens go off, <laughs> Lord help them. But as long as sirens aren't going off, I let my ear go and I go, ah, I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> I'm in Oklahoma, Jerry. I want Ms. V's meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Oh? Yeah. Yes, we should. I should make some meatloaf. That's right, I just opened it. <laughs> I should make some of those meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Oh my goodness, you should make mashed potatoes and meatloaf, you know, because I'm a meatloaf and potatoes yeah. kind of girl. But I make cheesy meatloaf. Cheesy meatloaf. Oh. Here we go. The person who, oh wait, no, no, here we don't go, there's one more. One more what? There was, there was a folded up one that was over there. Well, how'd it get there? I don't know, I gotta mix them all up again. Cherry berry or a sunshine or blueberry or a cranberry. I just want them all, right, Miss Kelly? I know. We got tornadoes everywhere. Carrie, get to draw on the name. I'm working on it. Lord help us. It'll be all right. No, it ain't. It's going to be all right. Yeah. All right, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah, And the winner. I have no idea. I can't read or write it. Oh. Can anybody read that, Florence? What is that? Florence. She can't read or write it either. Casaboon. Are you sure? <laughs> Florence Casaboon. Florence Casaboon. Florence Casaboon. You cracked me up. <laughs> she was like this. She was like, Florence. <laughs> Casaboon. Are you sure, Miss Virginia? <laughs> Florence Cosaboo. Well, maybe we better scroll back on She said, oh my gosh, that's me. You said it right. Guess what? Because it's her. Well, She's mama, here. Carrie. <laughs> See, she wasn't sure she had read it right. She was like, oh, she was like, look, ha, ha, ha. It was right, Carrie. <laughs> she can't read it either. <laughs> Florence Cosaboo, you just won yourself um, some starfish earrings, girlfriend. Congratulations, Miss Florence Cosaboo. She said, oh my gosh, it's me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need one square of bubble wrap, please. Carrie can't bubble read wrap it because it. it's not printed off the computer. I That's know. Why. I know it. I need to, um, I need to, this. I need one strip. One, not strip, but, none, oh, will that work? You have to put a piece of tape or something, I think. Um, and she has an order that's fulfilled. Um, huh? She has an order that's fulfilled with three trays. She's got a Ooh. Florence Casaboon. She's got a thing over there. Uh, three trays. Three here, Miss Virginia. Three open at home trays. I know, Carrie. Okay. I'm gonna get the paper. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna wake you up and I'll put you guys to bed. Congratulations, Miss Florence, girlfriend. Those are gorgeous. You're going to love them. Wake up, you sleepyheads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Wake up, you sleepyheads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Don't need no crispy tater 
tops. You know, makes that body rock. Wake up, you sleepy head. Hold that honey out of bed. Wake up, you sleepy heads. Hold those honeys out of bed. Wake up. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. <coughs> for, um, for purchasing and for partying with us. For making this a great time. For blessing me um, with your presence and your time, guys. I'll see you guys Tuesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Good night, sweethearts. Well, it's time to go. Boom, 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 boom. I hate to leave you, but I really must say, oh, good night, sweethearts. Good night. Boom, 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 boom.